Hello again. I am doing my second tutorial. Um, okay, yeah, you get me without makeup. Um, this is like fresh out of the shower and blown drying again. Okay, so my last tutorial, my hair was like violet -y or something, and I think that was maybe three years ago. My hair's probably been like 11 different colors since then. Um, so, and I've put extensions in with every color. So I've just decided since I'm about to, actually I just started putting extensions in. <laughs> and I thought that I would um, do like another little tutorial. So this time around, I am not doing tape-ins. I am doing um, eye tips. Let me show you down there. So I got them all ready to go. So actually I'm gonna show a picture because I, I love my hair color right now. My friend Melinda did it. She's so amazing with hair color. So I didn't wanna mess with any of my hair color. When I got up my extensions and I saw, oh, they're just like slightly different. They're a little bit too golden, not quite as ashy as I wanted. So I went this morning to Beauty Supply. I got a couple toners. I used Lumi Shine. Oh, love Lumi Shine um, by Joyco. <clears throat> Joyco. So I did 6NA for the darker ones and I did 9 and G for my lighter ones because actually um, I had previously toned them and some of them were actually more gray and I needed a more golden. So let me show you a picture of before and after toning them. In this before and after, I have the same four strands of extensions against my hair. So you can see that it looks like it's a totally perfect match. So I started putting in my shorter layer, and again, just like my other video, I always do the front first. So I've only put in this short, this short little, well, I put in two different layers so far. So I put in one, one layer of the really short ones. I mean, not really short, but you know. And that makes a good layer. And then I put another layer right here, and then I'll have two more layers so that it just kind of falls really naturally. I may end up, my shorter layer, I may end up trimming it a little bit just because I have some layers in the front here so obviously it's not all the same length. So I may have to trim some of this up but look at that blend now that I've toned them. Huh. So I love babe hair. I only use babe hair because it holds on to color. I know you're not supposed to color your hair extensions, whatever, but I color and bleach and tone mine. So the current hair extensions I'm using are, let's see, when was the last time I was really blonde? Probably like six years. So they were, they were straight from the store six years ago and then I have toned them really ashy, like almost kind of that gray ash in between that time and then I added a little more gold into it this morning before I'm putting them in my hair. So their hair, hair lasts forever. Okay, so here we go. There's so many tutorials on how to put in um, eye tips. I don't really feel like I need to do that, but I'll put in just like a couple, just in case you can get like, this video is a one-stop shop, hold on. Okay, wow, this is not attractive. Okay, oh well, here we go. So I have about this much hair and I start mm, about an inch back, maybe only three quarters of an inch. When I do hair extensions, my intention is to have it down and curled and pretty, not usually up in a messy bun or something like that. And so I'm not worried about beads showing. My hair actually falls to this side naturally and so I will have a bulk of hair over here. So I do it pretty close to my hairline. So I'm sure you all know how to use the loop tool. Um, when I'm not doing a tutorial, I typically do this while I'm sitting in my bed watching a movie. So it, I've done it for so many years. Really, I can just feel how much hair I want. And as long as it's a clean, like I don't have other little tiny hairs everywhere. I don't, it's not a precise science for me whatsoever. Okay, so I'm not gonna bore you with this entire thing, but basically, so you can see that this color is kind of my base, my base color, but I do have highlights in there, and I've got the low lights, plus I've got this root melt going on. In fact, let me put one. That is my base color as well, that's gonna be next. And then I do have this darker color. So you just change them out, I have baby lights all through my hair. I don't really have huge chunks of, or slices of highlights. 
And so because of that, I don't typically do two of the same color of extension in a row. I really move it every other one with lots of different color that creates a lot of dimension and it kind of tricks the eye, especially where it comes to my own hair. It doesn't create really a lot of that shelf. I have a call, decline, I don't know you. Um, so it makes it blend super well. So I have a few uh, new, brand new extensions that I'm throwing into the mix, which are 18 inches. Sorry, I'm on my tiptoes. I'm, I'm a really tall girl, I'm five foot nine. So <laughs> I have to go on my tiptoes here. Anyway, so the rest of my hair that I've used over and over for years is probably about 16 inches compared to that, but you want your very longest hair to be over your ear and then back here, just a little bit, just like three or four into that section. Those are gonna be the longest hair on your entire head, and this is why. If I was using 18 inch hair or my longest hair is in the front, and then I use that same length of hair over my ear into the back, it's actually gonna create a, this big gap where then it looks shorter. So instead you use shorter hair in the front and longer hair on the sides and then you can kind of taper it so that it makes this nice U. Otherwise you're gonna end up oh, this way, like with really weird choppy or you're gonna end up having to cut your front hair in order to taper it. So in order to keep as much length as possible, just plan to put slightly shorter hair in the front and as your very bottom layers, because there's like a three inch difference between where I'm gonna put them here and here. So I don't need this super long, long, long all the way back here, because then it'll look weird and scraggly. You need it right over the ear and right slightly back there, and then it all ends up really nice and close to the same length and nice and tapered and blending. And then the ends look really thick instead of scraggly. I'll show you when I'm done, you'll see. So I have now done two layers right above my ear. And you can see on my tiptoes again that it goes down like this. So the shorter ones are in the front. And then when I put it behind my head, hopefully you can see that it just tapers really nicely without any weird gaps. Okay, at this point, it still looks really bad. So I have most of this side in. It took five rows. The bottom two rows are the same length because I really want that thickness at the bottom. I've spent my whole life with uh, like thin, fine hair. That's not the look I'm going for. I want it to be thick at the bottom. So I do need to do some trimming. Um, I also need to put just a couple more of this bright blonde through the top, not in a row, just, do you see? So I have a natural, uh, not natural, definitely not a natural highlight, but I have a light blonde right there. So I'll attach a bright blonde to that one and probably a couple more. And then I'll do some trimming and then I will style it and then I will show you at that point what one half of my head looks like. I will say at this point I have used, let's see, 25, about 45 strands, which is just over two bags of hair. So another thing I would caution is when you're going this route as opposed to the tape-ins, you really need a lot of hair. You need to put it on a very thin strand. I mean, I know you're supposed to put it on a strand of hair that's the same thickness as the extension. I do a little bit less hair. My hair is extremely resilient, and so I find that I don't have a lot of damage or anything if I put my own hair is just slightly less than the, the width of one of these. The, um, what is the word I'm looking for? The, Thickness, that's still not the word I'm looking for, but you know what I mean. So, you need a lot of hair. Right here in my bathroom, I probably have 300 strands, which I'm not gonna use them all. At least 300 strands. I probably will end up putting, let's see, 40, 80, like 160 maybe on my head. And when I am working on clients, I will typically do between 140 and 160 for clients that have this length of hair. If their hair is longer, we could usually get away with less. If their hair is shorter, we usually have to do more and just layer it like crazy. And I'm not talking pixie cut short, but you know, just a like chin length short. That's like as far as I'll go because you can still blend it with some artful, um, you know, cutting and curling and stuff like that and make it look really good. So at this point, I'm gonna add a few more 
and trim it all up and style this half of it and I'll come back with this half of my head done. Ta-da! Okay, it took me like 45 seconds to style this. I have two different curling irons. I have a one and a half and I have a one and a quarter. For the one and a half, really for the bottom, all I did was just curl it under. I really want to keep that thickness. Um, I don't want to see individual strands like from curling it, so I just curl it under. And then for the rest, I just turn my hand with it like a beachy wave. In fact, I'll show you. Make sure you get some of your own hair. I did this in my other tutorial too. Along with the extension, curl it away from your face and never let it stop. Otherwise you'll have like a real curl instead of just like a bend in it. So all I want is just a wave. That keeps the thickness because the more it's curled, the more you'll see like individual strands, which you don't want. Um, I did end up putting all the way up here, see that bright blonde? And I put a couple more in there. And that just helps blend that color in. That is a good color blend. All right, I'm gonna do all the rest of it and then I'll show you when I'm done. I might even put some makeup on for the grand reveal. Hello friends. Okay, I'm not done yet, but I'm getting close. But I'm gonna show you the hardest part. I'm not done with this, so I want to show you before I finished. So the back totally looks like a mullet, right? That's what I have to fix. So I have so many different layers, but if I take this top layer, which it's pretty far down, so my hair naturally, if it's gonna split during the day, it splits like here, it gives me a natural part, which means my first row needs to be probably at least an inch below that. So that is where my first row is, okay? So I can take these, which are my shortest layer anyway, but you can see they're still a good few inches long, longer than my own hair. That's what I wanna start tapering and blending. So I'm gonna do one at a time across that whole row to just kind of taper it down, blend it down. I'm gonna do that with a, with a couple rows. And after I do that, then it's just all about the curl. I'll be back. I'm gonna show you a tip. Because you don't wanna blunt cut extensions, you really gotta taper it. Let me show you. You can do one or two at a time. I'll do two to save some time. So what I do is I actually twist them together. So definitely not blunt. And then I cut down at an angle and I move the scissors down as well. So it is very um, like splintery. Definitely not blunt. And then if I feel like it needs to be tapered even more, then I go through and I do this. Because you really want like a nice V. <laughs> it's really hard to do that looking in my phone camera. Anyway, so instead of being blunt, it's more like a V. And then that's gonna blend a lot better. But I still do not believe in ever styling extensions straight. I think that is a dead giveaway. I think it looks terrible. So really a natural wave is what you want. Even though you are trying to taper them down, you still wanna curl it. We are getting really close. I finished the cutting. It still looks pretty mullety. But when I start moving the pieces, you can see they're between like two and two and three inches below my own hair. So at this stage, we're ready to curl. So I will show you again how to do that. That's my own hair. Pull it with just the top layer or so. So that's what we're trying to blend together. So I use my one and a quarter iron for this. Again, I start at the top and then I just work it down. It's important to put a bend in the hair right where the hair is blending. I don't know if you can see that. I have no idea how this is angled. I am not a professional YouTuber, obviously. But anyway, it just puts that perfect little bend in there. So I'm gonna do that all the way around the back of my head. One last tip, because this is always a dead giveaway if somebody has hair extensions. If their hair is this length or any length where it's going to peek out, like hello, of course, right? Even if my hair was like here, unless I have a specific really thick layer right there, you run the risk of it, just a total giveaway. So those are just the very bottom hairs that I don't have an extension on which would weigh it down because I don't have it all the way against the nape of my neck. So I can put it in a ponytail if I wanted to. So what I do is 
get these little hairs, that amount right there. And then I have just like a little, little black rubber band. And I am just going to stick them in a little ponytail at the nape of my neck. It's not like it's super tight. It's not something where I'm going to feel, feel it, but it just keeps it from those hairs coming through right here. Now all it looks like is just long hair coming through. Okay, I'm just gonna finish up and then I'll show it all. Okay, all done. Let me back up. Let's see, hopefully you can see this okay. Let me back up so that you can see the back. There you go. So it's got really good movement. It blends really well. Don't have that mullety shelf there, which is never attractive. And I could put it in a ponytail if I wanted to. And uh, yeah, it works. So I ended up using um, like 152-ish uh, hair strands. So really close to the 160 that I thought it would do. Um, I did not go up as high as sometimes I normally do because my own hair is actually to here, not at my jaw. So I was able to get away with not using quite as many. The thicker your hair is or the shorter your hair is, use more. My hair being collarbone length and being thin and fine, I still ended up using almost eight bags of hair. So truly, this is an investment. However, again, most of this hair I've had for six years. And I've used it over and over, dyed it, bleached it, everything. So if you have any questions, let me know, but have fun. Here is my before and after, quite the transformation in one day. So that's it, everyone. Happy extensioning.